if you're having trouble setting your ninja with time code with Adam X, then watch this video. Hey, Gary Cruz with amazestudios.com here, and I'm going over a quick tip on how to set time code correctly on your Atomos using the Atomos Atom X time code back. And checking the firmware, this is the latest as of January 2022. Hopefully things don't change too much, but the concept should still be the same. This one's version 10.72.1 for the Ninja 5. I've got the sync back on each of these. All right, with those set, you can see that uh, the time code is different on this, on each one. The left is going to be the client and the right is going to be the server. So click on sync config. You can see that server is on. And by default on the, on the other one, it should say server. But if you click over the client, and as soon as we turn on, just take a look at the difference in time code here. And I have drop frame turned on. So look, uh, we set that time code. You can see the big difference there, 18 and one there. We've Typically it's set on server, but we'll switch it to a client and turn it on. As soon as we turn that on, it syncs. So that's it, you can end the video and that's how you set it up. But if you wanna double check, go over to sync network and you can see that the one on the left is the Ninja 5 and it's on the network. You have the option to change names. I couldn't figure out how to get the client to also say sync scene. Um, but you can, in order to differentiate between the different devices, I suggest that you change the names accordingly. In another video that uh, Photo Joseph put together, he went through the configuration of syncing the audio. Sony and Canon cameras do not have a sync issue. So you can see right here, you don't need to use Bluetooth. This is only if you have to use a Bluetooth device. We're using RF channel and you want to make sure both channels are the same. In this case, it's channel one. You can also set the remote control so that when you click on record, it'll record to the connected devices automatically. In this example, I'm not sure why I'm getting this error. It says the input connection was temporarily lost and recording of the new file has restarted. So you can see it's automatically stopping. So one way to potentially work around that is to manually record it. I also turned off free, um, drop frame and I still had the same issue. I switched multiple HDMI cables. I haven't seen this before, so who knows, it might be a bug. I even switched the camera and the cable combination and I still get it on the Ninja on the left. But I was able to work around it by manually starting the record. You can see that these two are in sync. If you found this content useful, consider subscribing and hitting the like button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Hey, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com here, and today I'm going to show you how to use timecode to sync two video sources with the Mixpre 3. So on my Atomos Ninja 5, I have an Atom X back here. It's an Atom X sync. And right now it's blinking green because nothing's connected to it. And so when you first turn it on, click on the timecode. And you'll see the time code. And if you have a Sony camera, this took me a while to figure out. You don't have to calibrate it because the audio is in sync with the video via HDMI. And if you go to sync config, this is where you uh, set the server to on and you pick a channel. Uh, and then if you want to set record to send the signal over the wireless network that the Atom, Atom X creates to trigger the next Ninja, just set that to on. Now, right now, we have no external devices, right? And so on your other one, you also have to have a Atom back, a sync, Atom X sync back. And so we'll go over here and we'll head over to time code. You can see that Atom X sync is on and this is the trouble that I had before I'm like how do I connect this so if you go to sync config um, at first I thought you know do it via Bluetooth and that's not what you want to do you want to do is 
you'll see server on and off, but the other one is the server. This one you want to be, you want it to have it as a client. So we'll turn that to client. And now you can see that it's connected here because it's a client. And now we've got that one called Ninja 5 as the client. And you can also see the signal right there. All right, one of the other things I also do is under the sync configuration, uh, let's go to set time code. I usually set it by time of day just so that uh, it's kind of easier for, for other devices that may not have time code. So speaking of time code and other devices, we've got the Mix Pre 3. Uh, right now, time code is turned off. So let me just show you what time, um, the Mix 3 Pre 2 has built-in time code generator. So if we go to um, the house and then we click on time code, I had it set to time code aux in. So let's actually show that because if, if it's off, um, if it's on free run, uh, you'll see that it'll generate its own time code. And this has a very accurate time code crystal inside and you can use that. However, it's not gonna sync up with that. You see it's 758, that's at 12. Now what you'll need is something like this. So let me turn this on. And let's just exit out of that. You wanna make sure all the different um, settings match. For example, we've got the client two is the name and the channel is FCO2. So if we go over here to the server and go look at the server network, you'll see that the ultrasync is now connected and the time code also matches. So you can see the 754, if you look at the seconds. All right, so now um, if we plug this in in the aux here, it's hard to do this with one hand here, so sorry about that. Okay, so plug in, you have to buy this separately. It's a cable that goes from the sink out to the, um, the audio in or sink in on the Mix Pre 2. All right, so let me place this over here so we can see if this matches. You don't necessarily have to keep this plugged in all the time. So let's show what that's, so let's take a look at that. So if we go to time code, and right now you see it's free run. We've got to make sure the time code matches. Um, we have it on um, 23.98, okay? And then if we go to jam, you see there's a differential right now. So the generator internal is different from the aux, which is that. So let's zoom back here so you can see. So if I click jam, Oh, wait, now help if I put it the right. So I've got to um, go to time code and go to the right frame rate. So um, we wanna do 29.97 drop frame. Go back, click on jam. And then it'll show that the difference between what's coming in via the time code between the ultrasync and then what's internal generated. So if we click on jam, it'll match it. Okay, so if I unplug this, right, so now that's uh, unplugged, that should be matched right there, right? So if I plug it back in, it's, uh, it's synced up. It's actually off by about one frame. Um, however, if I want it to be ultimate, um, if I want it to just come directly from the ultrasync, if we go to time code and then aux in one and go back, now the time code will be exactly what is being sent over the cable. And if we take a look back at the server here, at the sync network, we've got the remote Ninja 5, we've got the ultrasync, and now you just click on record here, but just to give you an example of the remote capabilities. So if I click on record on this, they're both recording at the same time. And if I stop, they also stop at the same time.
And so that's a time sync tutorial on the Atom Ninja 5 with the sync backs and with the ultra sync and the mix pre 3.